Hi, this is Chris M. from Johnson County Community College. And in this video, we are going to be talking about vectors. Now, we've already talked about vectors before in this course, um, but now we're going to be looking at them in their component form, which is going to have a lot of advantages for us. Um, so remember, to distinguish a um, vector from a scalar quant quantity, vectors had two things to remember about. They had a length and they had a direction. We talked about the length being a magnitude, and the direction is going to be an angle from the positive x-axis, or we call that a um, standard angle. So let's look at this component form. In component form, um, vectors basically have two components. One is going to be the horizontal component, or how far left or right we're going. And one is going to be the vertical component, component, how far up and down we're going. Vectors were different than scalars. And usually, we denoted them with an arrow above them, or our textbook just uses a bold phase print. So notice over here, when I denoted this vector in component form, I put an arrow over the V. So a vector starts at a certain point. We call that the initial point. And then it goes out in a certain direction with an arrow. And the tip of that arrow is going to be our terminal point. So that's going to determine the length and the direction of that vector. Um, when we're looking at these in component form, basically what we're going to do is we're going to translate that vector over into our Cartesian coordinate plane. We're going to put the tip of the tail on that um, origin. Now remember, we can't turn the vector at all. We can just slide it. We can slide it. And when we have that vector with the tip of the tail on the origin, Wherever that head of the vector is, this one is at the point A comma B in the Cartesian coordinate system, um, we get a component form of A, B, and greater than, less than brackets. So to distinguish the point A, B from the vector in component form A, B, we use these greater than or less than brackets, okay? So this is telling us that we're going A to the right, A horizontally, and B vertically. We've talked about these horizontal and vertical components before. Now they're just going to be the two components of our component form. OK, so we're going to um, talk about in this video how to find the magnitude and the angle of the vector. Let's go ahead and do that. So the magnitude, um, it says, yes, we, we found magnitude before. But when we have this um, component form, we can think of A as being our x distance and B as being our y distance. And we can use that Pythagorean theorem. So if I have a vector V, um, and I'll just put an arrow over this vector v. We can use those absolute value bars. That's going to be the magnitude or the length of the vector. I can just um, take the horizontal component and square it, um, plus the vertical component and square it, and take the square root of that. That's going to give me my uh, magnitude of the vector. The angle of the vector is just going to be that um, angle from the positive x-axis, and we can find that by trigonometry. In fact, we're going to try to um, look at some of these without using the calculator at all, because there are special triangles that I've had you, had you memorize this whole year. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. I have two examples down here. So one says, um, let's focus on example one. Draw the vector u, which starts at the or origin and terminates at that point, negative 5, 5. Um, write it in component form and then find its magnitude and angle from the positive x-axis. So let's think about this for a minute. Um, I have negative 5, 5 where it terminates. So that's going to be 5 um, to the left and 5 up. That's going to be in the second quadrant, isn't it? 
So I'm going to use my Cartesian coordinate system over here for one. I'm gonna go left five and up five. There is going to be where the head of my vector is. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. Um, looks okay. Let's try that again. There we go, not bad. So our vector is going to look like that. It's going to terminate at the point that has coordinates negative five, five. So if I was going to write that in component form, my vector u would just be um, greater than less than brackets, negative five comma five. That is how we would write that vector in component form. So that's a vector. Now I want to find the distance it is from the origin to that point. So the, the magnitude of that vector. So usually, you know, what we would do is we would say the magnitude of the vector is equal to the square root of negative five squared. So the horizontal component plus the vertical component squared we'd go ahead and we would square those out. I would have 25 plus 25, that's going to be 50. And the square root of 50, okay, so that's um, 25 times two, right? And 25 is a perfect square, so I say, say the square root of 25 is five, root two. So my exact magnitude of that vector would be five root two. Um, if I wanted to find the angle, it would look like this. This would be the angle I'm looking for. Well, I could actually find that from a reference angle. Let's go ahead and draw that reference angle in. It's going to be right here. So this is going to be theta hat. Okay, I want you to notice something that since these have the same distance, we could have thought of this as a special triangle. Anybody know <laughs> the one that has the same legs um, and the hypotenuse is going to be root two times that? Yeah, it's the 45, 45, 90. So we wouldn't have really had to do this math. We would have said, oh yeah, this is the one that has the ratios of the sides and one to one to root two. So if I have five and five, this would have been five root two. And also I know that that's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So that tells me that the reference angle is going to be 45 degrees. And if I'm in quadrant two, to find the actual angle, I just subtract from 180. And that should give me 135 degrees. So I found my magnitude and I found the direction of that vector. We didn't even have to use the trigonometry there. Well, we had to use trigonometry, but we didn't have to use um, that nice Pythagorean theorem. We could have just found that out um, with our special triangles. So I'm gonna challenge us. Let's try to do the second one by using our special triangles. I'm gonna start out by um, go ahead going ahead and um, locating it. So I have five root three and negative five. If I go out a little bit more than eight, it's five root three and down five. I'm like right about here. So let's draw this in. I'm in quadrant four. So this is my five root three. This is going to be my negative five. So if I draw my vector in here, it's going to look like that. And of course we know that the component form is going to be five root three comma negative five. And we're going to have um, a triangle that I hope you recognize. So one where we have um, five, so we have a number and then we have a number times root three. And then hopefully you'll say, oh yeah, the hypotenuse is just doubled, right? So that's going to be two. This is going to be a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And if we notice that, 
then it's going to be really easy for us to find that um, hypotenuse. So again, I notice the negative five is across from the 30 degree angle. It's the smallest angle. So that means that the magnitude of this vector is going to be double five or 10. So I can just use those special triangles to find um, the magnitude of V, which is going to be 10. Here's my V. There's my magnitude of V. And I've already found my reference angle. So my reference angle is going to be theta hat, 30 degrees. So if I want to find the standard angle and standard position, I need to go all the way around there. And that's just going to be um, 360 degrees minus that 30, which would give me 330 degrees for my angle and standard position. So this one has um, an angle and standard position of 330 degrees. That's the um, direction and my magnitude of 10. All right, so that is basically vectors in component form and how we resolve them into their magnitude and their angles. I'll make another video about um, working with these. So I hope this helped.